I ask you that every candidate who comes through, when they stand on this stage, when they're shaking your hand, when they're walking through town, taking your questions, that you ask them where they stand in election integrity. And I think you should get even more specific. Was the 2022 election for governor in Arizona stolen? And if they won't say absolutely yes, that's a big red flag. If people don't say that Carrie Lake's election for governor was stolen, it's a big red flag. Carrie Lake is the big red flag. She's the most narcissistic person in the world. And for some reason, she's standing at a rally when she's no longer running for anything with her name behind her in huge block letters on literally a big red flag. That's a big red flag. Ask all of them. Carrie Lake literally is standing in front of a big red flag telling people that if they don't believe she was robbed of the election for governor, that's a red flag and they should not be voted for for president. What the hell does her governor race have to do with the presidency? She doesn't even know who's running. I think you should ask Nikki and um, Vivek and I'm trying to think who else is running. Who's running? Hutchinson? Oh yeah, that's right. He mentioned it. Okay, all these people. Um, who else is running? Yeah, that person should be asked about me. Ooh, and that person. Ask them about me. Every court threw her out laughably. She has zero evidence of any sort of fraud about her election for governor, and yet she continues to spew very, very, very detrimental and harmful things to our country, to our democracy, just like sweet boy Donald does. I'll ask, you know, when Ron DeSantis comes, ask him where he stands, and ask President Trump. And I'll tell you what, I know that one of them will be honest with you about these elections, and one of them is Donald J. Trump. Right? And it should become illegal. We need laws to stop politicians from claiming fraud where there is none. If you claim it and then no fraud is found, it needs to be a jail sentence. It is sowing such unrest in our country. It's sowing such doubt in our democracy. And these people are still given huge stages, sometimes with large red flags behind them, to go and spew complete garbage nonsense, just like Donald Trump does, still doing it. Who's running? How he is not charged with treason is mind boggling to me. Treason is something that gives aid and comfort to our enemies. You don't think the sowing of division in our country gives aid and comfort to our enemies? You don't think they love seeing these politicians lie over and over again to completely gullible idiots? This crowd sitting there, oh, yes, absolutely. The election that you lost fair and square. If people don't agree that it was stolen, we shouldn't vote for them. That's a big red flag. Ask all of them. That's the exact reason you should vote for them. It gives you some sense they have some semblance of common sense, some semblance of integrity. It doesn't mean you should vote for somebody, but it's definitely a positive. Carrie Lake should be ashamed of herself, but of course people without shame that are just fame hungry and money hungry and power hungry have no shame. And anyone who supports her has no morals and no brain. Wake up already. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. If you have a brain and the ability to discern right from wrong, follow me at Ben Glebe on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I got some good content for you. If you're stupid, don't follow me because you won't get it.